Okay, so here we are in section 2.4, and 2.4 is all about comments. And a comment is just basically anything that you want to type in as notes to explain a program. So explain a line number, explain you know what's going on in that particular line, what's going on with the variable, those kinds of things. So comment is something that the Python interpreter completely ignores. Okay, it doesn't care what you put there. You can write little notes to yourself or uh, to someone on your team. Maybe it's intended for someone else reading through the code. So you're working with some other people and you did something one way in this section. You want them to know what that's about. You can put comments in there. So it will typically begin with either, this is, this is an interesting one. Uh, so this is the character we're going to use. Now this could either be, uh, I guess we call it a, what a, pound or a number sign or if you're under a certain age which i'm not uh, then you would call it a hashtag so anyway so we have we have uh, we have the hashtag character and that's what we're going to use matter of fact maybe make that a little bit bold uh so we're going to use that character and then uh you can see inline comments it, it, this can be a whole line or maybe just after uh, you've got some code in there. So maybe, like I said a second ago, like uh, you've got naming conventions and you need your other people on your team to understand what you were thinking and why you name things certain ways, those kind of things. Maybe where you left off, those, those types of things. So explaining the purpose of that particular line. So let's take a look. And um, at a minimum, this is the way you should start your program with comments. So on this next slide, uh, and we'll actually do this program here uh, in a little bit in a different video. Uh, but but here are some comments. So you can see on this line, each one of these lines starts with a hashtag, really simple. So start with your name. The next line should have which program you're working on. So where you got it and the name of it. So chapter two, PC is programming challenge. This is one. Uh, sum of two numbers, that's the name of the program. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do in a future video. Uh, it's a little bit later in the chapter. Uh, and then put today's date. And then how long, you can estimate, it's not like, it, you know, get your stopwatch out or anything, but how long do you think it took you to complete that program? Was it two minutes? Was it two hours? Uh, I'm just curious. It helps me kind of track how you're doing uh, and the way that you're thinking about things and, and how long it takes you to muddle through something. Um, and so that this this actually helps, this is for me, really. I mean, I, I guess it helps you too, but uh, but it helps me just kind of figure out like, okay, you know, you were able to get through this program in, in three minutes and uh, or, or, or maybe if it did take you three hours and I think it should take you three minutes, then I need to get a hold of you and we need to talk about, um, you know, some other ways of looking at things or, or what you can do to kind of improve that time, okay? So, um, so these are full line comments, right? So this is the beginning of the line. Oh, I didn't put line numbers in here, sorry. But this would be like one, two, three, like you'd see it in, uh, in um, Python tier. In fact, let's just do that. Let me just open up a Python tier window. Uh, boom. Okay, so here we go. So if I'm in Python tutor and I want to type comments out, like you saw a second ago, oops, I'm going to just hit hashtag and I'm going to say, oops. Okay, so I'll, it just ignores it, right? So, and then you'll have the other things, but let's say I wanted to do an end of line comment. So I've typed in all my other stuff and now I have, um, I don't know, something like this. Let's say age Jeff equals 49. Now that it looks old when it's on the screen, really old. <laughs> so my wife's 50, so I'm a little bit under her. So right now things are good. I guess as soon as I hit 50, we're the same. And, uh, you know, well, but for a few months here, I, I'm a little bit younger. So that's good. Uh, so anyway, so age equals 49. So an end of line comment, I might want to add something in here uh, to tell the programmers why I put this in here, why I use the naming convention, you know, age underscore Jeff. Uh, you know, whatever. I might even want to put a personal note. So maybe I put a note in here for for uh, people to know, like, hey, um, yeah, Jeff's 49, but his birthday is July, oops, July 14th. Okay, so I could do something like that. Now that's an end of line comment. So I could come down here. I could type anything I want after this hashtag. Um, and you can, you don't have to put a space there. I just typically do just have it uh but anyway so you can you can put whatever you want in there for your uh end of line comment and the, the interpreter will completely ignore it okay so then i can go down to the next line and, and keep going with my code whatever i was going to do here and uh and we go from there okay so end of line looks like this so just literally at the end of the line whatever line you're working on or that's a, a normal comment for just a, a full line that we're going to take out okay so when the interpreter runs this matter of fact let's do that uh when i hit visualize execution You'll see, notice that Python Tutor, look at this right here, next line to execute right here. It doesn't care about this at all. It treats it like a blank line, it's just white space. It literally cares 
nothing about this. Okay, so when I click next, this really isn't going to do anything, but we're going to store our global variable. We're going to store HGF and here's 49, but it doesn't care at all about this stuff here because it follows a hashtag, or a little comment option there. Okay, so let's go back and let's play a little bit with this particular program. Okay, so we're going to take this little example program. Uh, this is just I don't know, it's just one just right from the book, this little exercise. This isn't one of the programming challenges, but it's an exercise. Uh, so you're going to write a program that will display your name on the first line, street address on the second line, city state zip on the third, and your telephone number on the fourth. Last line here, college major on the fifth line. But, notice I threw this little thing in here too, uh, use a comment line to add the date at the top. So you don't have to put all that other stuff that we did a second ago. You don't need to put all these right now. I'm not going to see this program. You're only doing this yourself. So um, it's just for you to play. So we've got this piece here. So you're going to use a comment line to add a date at the top. So comment line beginning with hashtag. So that should be your first line. Boom. And then go ahead and do this. So how would we do this? Okay, quick review. Uh, you are going to use the print function, the built-in pre-written print function. So I'd come up here. This is where I'm going to put whatever date in, um, in this little section, right? So that was that piece there. And then you're going to use, oops, wow, I'm typing. Um, all our case print, open a parenthesis. You're going to put in here, what was the first thing? My name, close this baby out, and then go down to the next line. So remember, this is how we're using the, the print function to get it to print what we'd like. So that's the first thing. We're going to put this back up here. Uh, and you can uh, see the things that are that require there. So do, take a second, do that very quickly. Pause the video so you can do it on your own, and then uh, and then I'll show you just a sample solution after. Okay, so hopefully you've had a chance to do that, and uh, now let's go ahead and take a look at kind of a sample solution here. So. Uh, here we go. So this is just random stuff from the book, actually. But uh, so we ha I have the date up here, and then here we go with name, address, location. I guess city, state, zip, and then phone number, and then computer science for major. All right. And then you'll notice a link here. So you, if you click on that link, it will take you to uh, Python Tutor Code that will show you um, this, and you can execute it and see how it works. Okay. But hopefully you didn't have any problems with this. If you did, don't worry about it. We're just starting out. Uh, so you get the hang of this, uh, you know, by this time next month, you'll be just banging right through all of these print statements and you won't even think about comments. You'll have them in there. And it, like this stuff will be so second nature to you. You won't even believe it. So, um, so anyway, for now, if you have to look back at the PowerPoints and the examples and, and pause the video, all that kind of good stuff, that's totally fine. That's why we're, we're taking things slowly and, and, uh, you know, you, you'll get the hang of it. It will be, uh, it will be second nature here pretty soon. So anyway, but for now, uh, hopefully you, you enjoyed comments and have fun.